Hello, Traria Enthusiasts! My name is James, and welcome back to the Foria mod. So, I thought we could start today's episode by actually farming away in the ice biome, because we got those icy shards, right? But I thought we could get a few more and make ourselves some, like, basic armor and weapons and such, because I kind of want to go and explore the jungle. I want to get, like, accessories and stuff. I want to get, like, all the stuff for the Eye of Cthulhu and that. And I kind of keep thinking, I'm like, I'm not really prepared, am I? Like, I'm, like we're at the start, so I actually haven't got any decent weapons or, you know, any real chance at survival. I think if we went to the jungle, we'd kind of just be winging it. So I thought rather than wing it, we could actually just look for some icy shards and stuff. And they come pretty frequently. So I'll show you what I mean. So this is everything you can craft. So we have the bandana, we have the greaves, we have the mail, you know. So that's like, what, eight, six, so like 14. Okay, and then 18 to 18 pieces in total for that. But then you can make things like the the Frost Fury, which would be pretty good. I mean, that's only seven. Uh, and oh my god, like these are these are the uh, hard mode ones, aren't they? So I thought that would be like kind of a cool way to do some Thorium stuff and also get equipped. Because if you didn't watch the last episode, we uh, we were talking about all the tips you guys left me. And one of them was essentially just go and defeat the Eye of Cthulhu wait until the blacksmith moves in and then go ahead and start like crafting all the harpy stuff and such so uh i wanted to do that that's like kind of priority number one so i thought i want to make a nice little progression route there and i think doing modded armor is like a pretty good progression there because i mean like we'll be using a few you know it's very basic modded armor isn't it it's like you know it's like starter armor starter weapons and such nothing crazy like a uh, like late game calamity or anything like that but I thought it would be good. I thought it'd be a nice little thing to do. Look, these icy shards, they come all the time, don't they? So, you know, I may as well use this time to uh, explore the ice biome a little bit. So, let's have a little bit of fun. Man, it is only... Let me look at the date. Right, so the, here are some big events I'm like looking forward to in the future. So, tomorrow, Binding of Isaac comes out for the Nintendo Switch. And I found a, a little ghetto way to, uh, to get it on my Switch, because it's not coming out in England until God knows when, because they've not confirmed it, which which is kind of sad. But uh, I found this, like, ghetto way to get it, and uh, and that was actually helped to another YouTuber called The Mind Box. He's a Minecraft YouTuber. So I'm, like, super excited for that tomorrow. That's got me, like, proper hyped up, right? And then it's, like, two weeks away until I get, like, the keys to my new house. And then it's two weeks after that that I actually do all my moving and such. I'm, like, super excited, man. Like, uh... Yeah, it's been it's been keeping me going, dude. And then obviously recording this is like stupidly fun. That's I look forward to this at the end of every day. So that's been good. That's what I've been looking forward to. And the, the good thing is with this new house, is it's the first time in my life I'm ever gonna have decent internet. Like it actually has like good wired old internet, right? And uh, that means that in that two week break where I'm not actually like moving into the house, but I'm kind of moving all my office over there early so I can use the internet because mine will get cut off. Obviously, like, when you move house, one internet gets cut off so that it can go to the new place. Um, we'll be doing some, like, live streams and stuff. It's going to be, like, really fun. We'll just have some, like, fun live streams and stuff. If you guys have uh, ever seen me do the one live stream that I've ever done, you'll know that I have, a, I have a good laugh doing live streams. And we'll do some Terraria and some, like, Splatoon and stuff. It'll be a good laugh. Right. Okay. Well, you know what? So these icy shards can drop from, like, any enemy here, right? And they can drop like throughout the ice biome. I say we literally spend this, uh, we spend this time today, at least exploring a little bit because I mean it's all early days, isn't it? I mean like we're not gonna get any like killer modded thing just yet, so might as well take it slow. Take it slow. I have a few things I need to, uh, I need to do in the series to like get it like get the ball rolling. One is houses. So in the last series, I uh, I made a series of. I believe it was like two or three little like starter houses and that was just for my NPCs to begin with. And then I realized I needed a more centralized area for all the crafting like stations. And then I rebuilt the whole house from scratch to just look a little bit better. So my plan for this series is to work on the bigger house straight away, right? Now I've already picked what material I would like for it. And it's actually thanks to a bunch of you commenting about this. There was actually like quite a lot of you suggested this. So if it's like, if you're like reading this and you're like, hey, you responded to my comment the other day, you're like listening to what I'm saying now because I responded to a lot of people. Um, I'm going to be making the house out of marble. Marble, right? Because in Calamity, we did it out of granite and it was like a purple house. So now I want to make a white house 
um, to go with the Forium because I make all the Forium colors blue. So, like, when you see it, you can be like, hey, a blue thumbnail, that's Forium. Hey, a purple one, that's Calamity. That's kind of what I'm going for. <laughs> it's, like, the most basic way to let you know. Right, but, uh, so yeah, I'm, I want to start on the, the proper house straight away because I should have done that originally with Calamity. I should have learned my lesson. I'm going to learn my lesson. I'm going to work on a on a decent house. I know I built temporary housing uh, in the first episode, but, you know, I'll get, I'll get working on a more permanent base. Right, let's see. Hey... Hey, little ice slime, let's come and get it. Yes, I think marble would be like a really nice thing to have. It'd be really, really cool. Okay, let's put down a torch. So this is actually a really good use of time, to be honest. We're getting those icy shards, and we're just having a bit of fun exploring our world. Tell you what, not enjoying that. Let's get out of here. Okay, no, no. Hey, icy shards. How many have we got now? We've got five. That's not too bad. Like I said, it's like literally just a really good like chance just to explore. Like, it's good to just get to know your world because obviously like we're going to be coming uh, and going through the ice biome, you know, occasionally throughout the series and stuff. It helps. You guys know the drill. You know the drill. Okay. Now there is one thing I wanted to do. So you guys said to me in episode one, at the end of episode one, oh save your family heirloom. It crafts something amazing. It's for end game, but I, I actually want to see what it is. <laughs> it's called the Majorne. <laughs> you know it's funny? I actually know how to pronounce those little O's with the dots over it, but I uh, I just can't remember how to do it. So I did know at one point. Rapidly froze an image of the legendary Majorne. Hitting an enemy causes a storm of energized chain lightning. Dude. And you need a dormant hammer. There appears to be an empty socket in the middle of the hammer's head. Wow, okay, so now I can see why you actually want me to keep it. Yeah, you guys were right. <laughs> that poor soul that bins his in the first episode. I bet you there's someone out there. Or at least someone who was just like, oh, this is cool. But, you know, not cool enough to uh, to keep. There's got to be someone, aren't there? Missing out on the most hard-to-pronounce weapon there is. <laughs> the, the name look like it looks German. I, I, that's like I'm very naive when it comes to uh, languages and stuff, but uh, it looks German to me. Is that a German name? I don't know. <laughs> Probably so wrong. Stupid chippy. Right, which way do we go? So there is. I say we go down there again. Did we? Did we get to the end of that little tunnel that was too dark, or did we get down there and just go? Oh no. Okay. Let's go and see. We probably got down there, and I was just like, no. <laughs> or I didn't have anything down there. Is that what it was? No, this is actually a full area. Oh, okay. Okay, give me that icy shard. Have we still only got five? Yeah, we've only got five. All right, that makes six. So that's one thing. We can make a bow now, at least. Yeah, at least we can make a bow. Well, we can make a bow in a second. I've got to get one more. But uh, we're, we're close to a bow. We're close to a bow. Let's mine the rest of this stuff out. But yeah, I've been super busy, guys, doing a... Uh, all my home shopping and stuff like how we've been managing it is like so i record at night that's like something that i've, I've always done with chippy's couch i find it really relaxing it's like a nice way to end the day and uh I, I do that for a few reasons and a lot of you ask about this actually so i'll, I'll address it now so why do i post so late for uh, my own time zone well it's funny because i record late and then i post late but it's super late for the people in britain so what happens is they don't stay up waiting to watch it. Or at least there's probably some people, but I don't really want them to. I want them to watch it in the morning when they're getting ready for like school or getting ready for like whatever they do, whether they have like a job, a summer job or whatever, you know, they can uh, they can watch it while they're getting ready, like having breakfast and stuff. So like that's a nice little way to, uh, to spend your breakfast, right? But in America, it comes out like when people are like winding down, you know, they've had like a long day at school. Maybe they've come in, had their like dinner or their tea. You know, and then they're uh, they're working on the homework, and then bam, they get a uh, they get an episode of this. So it kind of works out both ways. But for like some people, some people in Britain are like, dude, you you live in Britain, why are you posting so late? And some people in America are like, hey, why are you posting like it's six o'clock? It's funny, yeah. But there you go. <laughs> That's why I do it. But yeah, so I I record really late, and how I spend my day is I've been spending my day every single day this past week, just like traveling around to different furniture shops because. Furniture shops in Britain, they are uh, quite a way out, right? So it's not like a, like just down the road. You have to like really travel to get to a good furniture shop. And that's what I've been doing. As you guys know, I picked up the official Chippy's Couch. 
it is grey, like the icon, and uh, it will be sat in my living room, and it will be good. It will be good. I'm so excited. That, that's a video in itself, isn't it? <laughs> but I've got to wait eight weeks for those, so uh, it's going to be a while. <laughs> Couches to order, man. Couches to order. Right. Well, we haven't found anything, but you know what I'm happy with? We did find some, uh, we did find some sapphire, which is good. Because obviously sapphire is good for like magey weapons and then also the rings. I, I could do with getting some fallen stars today to be honest. I may take this uh I may take this to the surface now. Let's see. Alright, okay, so it's night time, so I'm gonna look around for some fallen stars because I wanted to upgrade those rings, didn't I? Somebody actually said that you can um combine all the rings together. I'm not too sure whether he meant like the base default rings or I'm not sure whether they meant, like, the upgraded ring. So, I'll try both. I'll see what happens. But, uh, that'd be really cool. Like, I think that's, like... It's like a... I don't know. That's like the ant shield of, like, the beginning of Forium, isn't it? Like, you've got to get all the pieces. And then you may as well combine it together. It's like the Infinity Gauntlet. You know what I mean? It's going to take me a few days. It's going to span a few episodes. I'm sure we'll get it done now. But for now, let's just literally just, uh... Let's just collect a bunch of, uh, Fallen Stars. Because we're going to get, like, tons of them throughout the series, aren't we? And it's not like necessarily like we need mana now because we're not even using any mana weapons or anything. So uh, we'll see what happens anyway. I still haven't decided on a class or anything like that. Like I said, I'm just gonna just gonna take this mod as it comes and explore. I think that's like the best way to do it. It's why I only do one mod at a time because it means I can like fully appreciate that one thing. Like. Like, with Forium, like, I want to know everything. Like, I want to do it like we did Calamity. Like, I want to learn everything. Like, I want to know, you know, I want to know, like, what is the best. You know, what, what's, like, playing, like, in the middle, like. What's it like once you beat Moon Lord, you know. I want to know all that kind of stuff. Like, you want to uh, you want to experiment with these mods and stuff. So, that's why I didn't go for a mod pack straight away. Because then you can kind of, like, you can kind of, like, cater to, uh, to exploring and stuff. And, like, you don't have to worry about, like, oh... Do we do Calamity now or do we work on Thorium? You know, it's good. I like doing that. So uh, that's why I do that as well. That's one thing a lot of people ask, which is cool. I like I like answering these questions. I'll probably do a uh, a big Q&A soon. I'll, uh, I'll boot up my camera and we'll uh, sit down and do some questions and stuff. Because you guys leave a lot of questions and uh, I'd like to answer a few of them that um, are a little bit longer maybe. That'd be cool. That'd be quite cool. I don't know. You'll have to let me know what you think about that. <laughs> but yeah. Oh my god. Look at all these slimes. Look at all these slimes. Oh my god. So you know how I said in episode 2 about the uh, the weird, like, fugly looking, you know, zombie? No. I just realized what I said, didn't I? I said, look at all these slimes, didn't I? Oh, I'm a moron. <laughs> I was looking at that zombie with a slime on its head, and I was like, oh, look at all these slimes. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, no. But yeah, um... <laughs> I'm still getting over that. But yeah, there was that ugly looking zombie with all the things like popping out of its face. You guys actually told me that's arrows. Like, I never noticed that. I never noticed that he had like snapped arrows coming out of his face. That's just disturbing, man. Right, how many stars have we collected so far? Dude, we've collected like so many. Like, what's that? Seven now? That's actually a pretty good haul. My god, I can't wait until we uh, craft a stopwatch. I always like carrying a watch on me in Terraria. It's like kind of like a, like a must have item for me now. I like how uh, uncorrupted this world is. Like, we've walked for ages now, and we haven't hit the corruption yet. Is the corruption this way? It's got to be, right? No, this is jungle. Yeah, corruption and jungle, then. Woo! Okay, the reason I uh, use recall potion instead of my uh, magic mirror sometimes is because it's actually faster. So if I remember, I do it. Right, so we have six icy shards and a bunch of fallen stars. So... What I want to do is, I want to turn those fallen stars into that dust again. So what do you do? It's arcane dust, so it's one per five. So we want to make ten, and then ten is going to turn, or is it fifteen? Fifteen is going to turn our ring into something new, isn't it? So at the minute, it gives you range damage increased by two percent, right? By two. But the new one, it gives range damage increased by four. But let's actually take a look at the crafting recipe here. So if I was to put this in here, the mega ring is not a thing yet. So let's make this ring. So that was like an upgrade. Yeah, the ring, equippable. Damage increased by 4, 3% increased critical strike chance, 4% increased critical strike damage. Damage taken is reduced by 5%. So these are all of them. They've even got an amber one. Ah, right. So they've got an amber one. So that's going to be something for a little bit later. And then we have the icy stuff. 
Now, I'm gonna kill this this bunch of people. Look at that. Look at the biter. Dude, that biter is so cool. You know, it's actually Senex who uh, sprited all the... Uh, you see all the new types of zombies and stuff? Like, there was only ever one type of zombie in Terraria, and it was actually Senex. That was Senex's first, uh, first sprite she ever worked on was a bunch of different female haircuts because we didn't have many of them. And then she did zombies, and then she helped work on a die system, which later became the die system we have now. It used to work a lot differently. These are all little things I learned back in the day. Um, just really interesting stuff. Sonic's a cool little sprayer. Man, look at these. Some of these zombies are wicked. Right, these uh, these guys are dead. All right, let's let's just leave that dude. Right, so I want to make some more magic dust. I'll make three of them again. One, two, three. And I want to see, is there any more crafting recipes? What's this? Freeze. Six magic damage creates a bolt of deep freezing magic. Now, is this just a one-time thing, or is this like an always thing? Let's see. Oh. Oh, that's nice. I don't know if it's obviously it only does six damage, but that's actually really, like, charming, isn't it? That's a really charming sounding weapon. Do you think that could get annoying over time? I don't know. <laughs> it seems charming enough. It seems charming enough. I like it. Now, I didn't get all my icy shards yet, so I want to get one more, and I want to make a ranged weapon. Oh, but dude, like... That's actually really good, isn't it? So that like that can freeze them. Let's make a uh, let's make another um, another ring, right? So we have the one ring. Let's put the one ring on. Let's make another one. So I'm gonna have to remember this. It's I'm still like getting used to this stuff. What was it? It was like lead bars. So like, do we have any more lead ore? So we have some lead ore. So we'll take this. We'll make some more lead bars. Leave four for potions. We'll get rid of... So I'm already getting a bunch of stuff in my inventory now. I'm going to do some chest sorting soon. I've, I've added two more today. But um, let's see. So what was the ring made out of? Once again, I, I do apologize for this because I should know this already. It's just because I'm kind of like getting used to it. You know what I mean? So what was it called? So you put this together with this. A band. And what was a band made out of again? B and D. Band. What was it made out of? One lead bar. At an anvil. Okay. Okay, now does this class as an anvil? It does, doesn't it? Class as like the Thorium anvil or whatever. So we'll make one more of those. And we'll make the Sapphire Band. So this is magic damage increased by two. We'll make another one of those. We will... Oh, what's this? A Mana Bauble. An orb of concealed magical enemy energy. Increases maximum mana by ten. Wow, so that's actually like pretty decent item to be honest so we'll make one more of these we'll take rid of that you know we'll get rid of that so that's increased our magic damage so this makes this weapon here a little bit better yeah so that's now doing like 10 instead of six okay now how many more um how many more orbs do we have like how many more gems so we have emerald so we've done emerald we've done sapphire we'll do amethyst now then so we'll do amethyst and topaz so i'll make two more bands one, two. So then we'll make Amethyst. And we'll make Topaz. And then I'm going to need six stars for all of those. So I'll get three, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And then we'll make the upgrades once again. So we'll do this one. This is damage taken is reduced by 5% or just five. And then we'll do this one, which is throwing damage. So that's four bands already made now. I'm pretty impressed with that. Now, if I was to replace something, I would get rid of that. And I would replace that with the uh, with the damage taken is reduced by five. Does that seem good? I feel like that's a pretty decent thing to begin with. I'm pretty happy with that. I mean, that's quite cheap, isn't it? It's like get a piece of lead, you know, get a piece of uh, get a piece of gem, and uh, and some fallen stars. That's actually really cheap, isn't it? That's really cheap. I'm pretty happy with that. So I'm gonna wait until we get our last icy shard. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make that icy bow. I guess we can kind of skip the armor. I know I want to make it, but after like doing this for like 20 minutes now, I would kind of like say that maybe not worth the farming because we can quickly replace it with something else in a minute. But I do want to make a uh, I do want to make a modded bow, especially because we have that ring. So it just kind of makes sense, dude. This magic weapon is actually really fun. <laughs> right, so that's that done. I'll uh, magic mirror back. Okay, and then we'll make the bow. 
and then we'll use up some of our arrows, but let's see. So, are we ready to craft this? Yeah, the, the Frost Fury. Bam. Okay. So now we have a bow with arrows. We have a magical weapon. I think that's a pretty good, uh, a pretty good start, man. I'm pretty happy with that. Oh, that's going to be great. Especially because that's a blue slime. We are in expert mode. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed. We'll be back tomorrow with more Thorium mod. If you're not already subscribed, I, I still notice this. There are still like 20,000 of you who have not subscribed, but you watch every day. You guys are crazy. Make sure you're hitting the button. Come on. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But yeah, seriously, though, make sure you're subscribed. There are so many of you that are like, I've been watching for days and I never noticed. Get it done, guys. Get it done. Just double check. Double check. Do that for me today. All right. Have a great day, everyone. I'll see you all tomorrow. Thank you all for watching. Peace.